so it could happen. Maybe he'll get a phone call like Vega did, and Wait, then he'll what? have to go like a. <laughs> so during the middle of Vega's set earlier against Shinjobi, he got a phone call. Picked it up. Well, like it was between games. Right, but, but he still's like, hold yeah. on, Joe. And it was. I gotta the, take. This. I talked to him later because I was mad. I'm like, I want to call this person back. It was Dane. I was like, girl. Well, why are you calling him during his set, though? I don't <laughs> think he was even coaching yet. Like, it was, I don't know. I, I want to know more. I want to know the whole story. Something tells me Dane wishes he was here, because I've also been getting but, messages but, uh, from Dane. Okay, okay. But, uh, hit the pause button. Rewind the VHS. You're, you're worried about this Roy now? Roy. I haven't seen Shinjobi's Roy since, like, he was two years old. Like, the LLs? Like, I haven't uh, since, like, 1600. Count it. That's it. This is fun. Oh, he had a jump. I'm about what a this. smart recovery from Cookie. I mean, Shinobi's been going a lot of different characters today, right? He was uh, Duck Hunt at one point. He was um, Falcon. Uh, it's really nice to see his Roy. His Roy was always phenomenal. I mean, every all of his characters are. Yeah, and the thing is, he was the reason that the reign of Ganon the Beast, back before he was the one, came to an end. This man, if we have a problem in the community, finds the counter pick, finds the he answer. Does. And essentially, in a way, Cookie is kind of becoming that person. He is and, absolutely terrifying. And right now, I mean, Shinobi's Roy is doing work for being probably a bit rusty, at least. He probably plays them a lot at home and stuff for fun still, but that's that's different from a tournament. Oh, yeah. Very different from a tournament in a lot of ways. Great pivot, pivot grab, grab, though. Cookie's coverage of the ground is just spot on. The... Dash in and up tilt for the kill. That was... Because why not? He knew Cookie was going to land with some kind of a safe area. Roy's jab has always been something I really liked. It's very interesting because it's not like anyone else's jab. The way it just kind of sets you up and it's a single hit and, and it's like a scoop. It's so interesting. I like this character. I wish he was better. <laughs> and people who don't understand Roy don't understand that the main advantage to Roy isn't those really strong hitboxes. Isn't any, it's his speed. Very the true. way he can oh, run yes. on the ground is ridiculous. Roy can put in work. I think people sleep on him a little too much. Ooh. It's just... Back air the grab. <sighs> yeah. Cookie just laughing. It's just the thing is that Roy needs the momentum. It's oh. hard for him to really play a long neutral. He needs to get in and get going. Mm -hmm. You know, he needs to he needs to get on that road trip. Get on that road trip. I. It's been a long day. Oh, you look exhausted. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was also commentating a lot like earlier, and I'm trying to like think of new stuff to say because I don't want to be redundant. But oh, I, creativity I, I, is so I, difficult. Girl, I used all my good stuff already. Don't even, don't at me. I will oh. never stop adding you. Don't Ooh. at me like Cookie Tick is not at Roy. And it's um, kind of looking like Cookie got a bit of a download. Yeah, that's, uh, oof. He was like, this is a cute one trick. Who, <laughs> this number one Ike in Midwest who this. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm number one Ike in Midwest who this. I love it. Um, Cookie's like looking at an I'm old black and white photograph. Is this, is this you? Is this you when you were my age? Oh, you were so good. <laughs> wow, what happened? <laughs> oh, it's so good. But as we were saying that, Shinjobi did a lot of work yeah. to bring that back. <laughs> Never insult old people, fellas. No. They? Yeah, they. Ooh. Ooh, that Star KO is so aggressive. Or not aggressive, but. Um, up tilt covered so many options, so too. Cool. Essentially yeah. anything but continuing the whole shield. I think we're also just really embellishing in the Fire Emblem matchups today, too. Oh, yeah. Because I've seen so many. But I love it. I love it. I like how apparently a war breaks out of mercenaries in this little town. The people are like, I just want to watch. Yeah, and then all the animals are like, whoa. And they already have sides that they picked. Side bets. The best side betters are the Animal Crossing creatures. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, the standoff, though. How to neutral 101. <laughs> just clip that little 10-second bit there. Just wait, and then just up smash. Your opponent will fall into it. Oh, Guaranteed. So he is. He covered more his than half His airspeed stage. is phenomenal, and his frame data is actually pretty. And his really. short hop. His short hop is yep. so quick. Yep. 
Is it? I wonder if it's because he has a short jump squad or something. It yeah. seems like it. It seems like he gets in the air very fast. Oh, Koki looking for the air dodge. Winds himself in a disadvantage state. It's, it's a lot of uh, a risk-reward type of exchange with this matchup, especially with, like, two sword characters. You're looking Ooh. for the trades that turn the match in your favor. Ooh, Ooh that fair taking it off the side. Yeah, that's rough. And Miku Kuki looking to uh, get right into top three here. After every game, he's looked like, yeah, that was pretty cheesy. Yeah. Like, after every game, he's just got that grin of, you, you probably shouldn't have died there. Thank but you, Mike. you did. But you did. It happens. The I mean, character switch potentially. It's for me? like Ike is an interesting mix of like cheesy but honest at the oh, same. Oh, he's time. so honest. Just that if you if you don't di that fair properly, then you're you dying early. Then you, he just he's like an honest character that kills you early. That is essentially it. You're never surprised that you got hit, but sometimes you're surprised you died. Yeah. Like oh, I got hit. I died. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Felton getting hype over um, Splatoon. And all right, getting uh, the, the Greninja action. Speaking of Splatoon, Greninja has everything to do with that game. Absolutely everything. You really didn't think that one through, huh? Nope. Well, water, squids, and, like water. They have at least died. Squids. Okay, it's like a post-apocalyptic world where you like graffiti things to win. Like a... <laughs> what 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 am I supposed to do with that? How are the commentators gonna manage on Smash and Slash Three? What do you what do you say? Oh, maybe you talk about the gameplay as opposed to the game itself. Okay, but girl, that is exactly what we're not doing right now. Yeah, you're right. And this can end up putting in work. When does it not? It's true. It's so good. That pivot grab. I think pivot grabs becoming the new meta in our state because so many people who are doing well have been pivot grabbing like all the time. It just covers so many more landing options right. and it keeps you safe. But that right. fair off stage, going to take stock one. And now Shinjobi with probably his best leave of the set so far. Trying to take advantage nice. of that recovery, but just barely off target there. Shinjobi so consistent at punishing jumps, especially jumps from ledge. I absolutely love it. And he's, he's been really um, taking advantage of the drag down effect oh, yeah. of his up air. And not only that, but choosing when it's best to fully commit to the up air or when it's best to try to combo from it. Oh, these shurikens, though. Just keeping the pressure on off stage. Wow, living that back air. Great to Beating yeah. out his own. I like the offensive option to come back because Cookie was ready to try to get like an eruption or something if he delayed it. Oh. And a two stock. <laughs> Cookie's laughing like, uh, where was that the whole set? Why? What? No, I know. It was just I. I was excited to see. Oh yeah. The uh, Roy Ike matchup. So I'm glad he at least tried. And it. I mean, it's honestly a valid strategy to just try to get some data on your opponent because with it's out, unlikely for yeah. Cookie to switch characters. Exactly. And now Shinjobi has an idea of how yep. Cookie's feeling today. That's going to be a weakness of a solo main is you can feel out with different characters so you can kind of download them. And they can maybe download your habits, but it's harder to do that when you switch characters, especially when it's so different. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... it's Shinjobi's Greninja isn't going to play entirely like his other characters, of course, because it's, it's a different playstyle altogether. And it's so much more practiced at this point. Like, it's yep. so much more polished, even if they did play similar. Yep. Just that much of a difference in execution can make a huge difference. And that way you can focus completely on download and reading versus execution or movement. or Right. Because it's already in his, in his mentality, in his muscle memory. See, again, the drag down up airs. I, I like that he's doing that more on a platform, too. That creates a really, really difficult situation for your opponent. Because the moment you don't, like, text something like that on a platform, it's so easy for Greninja to cover you. Like, there's so many ways he can cover any of your options. And honestly, just the landing coverage in general. Yep. It's like there's not a stage beneath Cookie, it's just a frog. <laughs> That's the thing, uh, Shinjobi's been fishing a little bit for this kill. It's been a bit tough for him to really get in 
took Cookie's space in a way where he doesn't get swatted away. Cookie had that read. The empty hop got Shinjobi to roll. He just didn't execute it. I mean, we all saw he had that read. But... And the jab. So we got a really even game four right now. Um, Cookie to keeping us a little closer than game three, but having a tough time getting back to stage. That being said, a straight aerial will definitely take out Shinjobi at this point. Up throw not going to quite do it. Ooh, great F tilt. That's oh, wow. Ooh, girl. Oh, jeez. He flew around like the earth with that one. I don't think I've ever seen. And then the up tilt. He just like, he like teleported. Like, Jesus. I just never like think I side B is going to go that far. You know? Right. Oh, he dead. Read. Oh, he dead. If you ever want Cookie to up tilt, just spot dodge. It's like he knows and will yep. always up tilt you yep. for it. It's amazing how consistent he is with up tilt. And such a good I don't think I've ever commentated a set where he missed. That was actually very close to being the end of Cookie Stock. Yeah, the, the oh, Hydro Pump water box there? Ooh. Scary for Ike. In that moment where he's suspended, he's extremely vulnerable. It's just a smaller window, so it's kind of hard to take advantage of. Cookie using his nair to trade with Shinobi so he could get a follow-up afterwards. That was really smart. Okay. I like uh, Cookie's been doing a lot. Ooh! There it is again! That was so good. And on the roll read, too. Like, spot dodging, rolling, shield drop. That might have been this. on a reaction. He might have been ready for that and turned around up tilt right away. Kind of like half read, half read. Yeah. Something I really liked about Game 4, though, is that Cookie was starting to go for a lot more non-committal footsie options. Yeah. Um,